What's going on everybody, Cheeto here, back in the year 2017. It's been um, a hot minute since I've actually sat down in front of this microphone and opened Audacity, and uh, not the first, not a while since I've opened this game. I've been playing some Prison Architect uh, recently. It's been quite a fun experience, and I figure I'd bring some to y'all. So, uh, I don't really want to stick with this because I feel like I could do a little bit more. We're going to make a new prison and I'm going to do a couple of things I usually don't do. So let's see, I think I might do, we'll do a small prison. We'll keep it this size. And, uh, in my experience, if you start large, you have plenty of room to expand kind of I think if I start this small it force me it'll force me to make more money before expanding my prison so let's keep it tiny fog of war forests okay failure yep uh yes and yes and yes and I'll also do female prisoners because I haven't I've never done prison with female prisoners before and though it's a little different uh and who do we want to be our warden uh let's go with rita let's get this girl in and let's see hopefully we'll have less uh rowdy prisoners and let's get started first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the game because we got to do some planning. Uh, I like to say, let's see, how big is this map? 80. And we're going to go like right here. So this is like the center of the map. And those of you who have ever played Minecraft will know. You can't have shit off center. Uh, whop. So we're going to move the deliveries to like this side and we're going to make it uh, we got to save some space uh what i do five by eight garbage five by eight all right now you workmen can come on in we're going to close the intake for now and we're going to pretty much just accept some minsec in the beginning, uh, we want to be able to make enough money to expand our land pretty early. And the only way to really do that is with Minsec prisoners. Kind of get them off on parole. Uh, how are we going to do this? I always have pr a little trouble starting the prison because it's a little confusing. Uh, we're going to start with a reception, of course. So we'll do a 10. Let's do, that's kind of big. We'll do this. I like to do like one hallway. Something's not right already. <laughs> Whoops, okay. Is that right? I don't know. Five by 10, five by 10, there we go, perfect. Perfectly perfect. So this is going to be our reception area. We're going to have a little thing up here. I think these might be... Let's see. One, two, three, four. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And two there. And these will be like our offices. So we're going to have a couple of staff offices up here there we go i'm gonna yeah we'll just have like a door right there it's gonna be a little off center who cares i don't secretly so here we go this is gonna be a little hallway let's see first we gotta do a couple things we're gonna delete this letter because no one cares what this dude has to say and we gotta do a couple of grants you always gotta do your grants. 
So first things first is we know this is going to be our office, so we pretty much have that down. Uh, reception's kind of optional. It's nice to have your prisoners not on the street when they first get here. Uh, but we're going to have to do, let's see, a holding cell, which don't ever really use. So we'll just do a tiny holding cell off on this side. Uh, canteen. Okay. So let's go a little big with this because I don't really want to have to move the kitchen around too much. If they don't, prisoners don't eat, they get a little, well, hangry, I think would be the right word. So I think this is pretty good for a kitchen and a canteen. That's like way big. I'm not even going to have that many prisoners in here to begin with. We'll go down here. I think this will be like a makeshift yard. And maybe this down here can be like... Uh, a tiny little cell block. Uh, hmm. We got everything so far? Maybe. This can be like a holding cell. And then this can be a shower. Because you got to have a shower and a holding cell. Maybe we'll just kind of cut this out and give them a nice big yard. And we can just kind of forget about it. All right. All right, let's go ahead and just do this. We're committing to it. This and this with uh, this and this. On big maps, I usually like to have uh, forests enabled because what I can do is, let's see, let's set up an export. Just kind of mark it here or whatever. We'll move it later. Uh, and all the workers will move the extra logs out here. And you kind of make a little extra money. Not too much, but it's good early game. And if you're not uh, good at conserving your money. Oh, crap. Did I put that in the right? I did. Okay, I thought I put that in the wrong place. All right, we're going to have to count out 15. 15 and then we're going to make a big old fence around the yard so what we're going to do is we're going to do two layers of fences uh one will go here is this yeah we're going to probably end up moving the garbage and deliveries in a minute so that'd be the outer perimeter Let's get this fixed up. Bam. And then we'll do like a layer right here. Because you got to have an outside wall too. Just in case. So while we wait for these dudes to speed them up a little bit. Faster. There we go. Yeah, I'm already running out of space. This might be a bit smaller than I thought it was. So I better hope I get more money pretty quickly. Come on, y'all work faster. Okay, so we have this. Let's go ahead and mark reception. Oh, shoot. Don't put lights in. Stop. Never want auto lights. Alright, we need... We're going to put... Uh, hmm, desk here, right in the middle, a chair, and some tables. And let's see, here we're going to need a staff door, because we don't want people in here. And let's go ahead and get some offices laid out, because we're going to need to go ahead and hire on our first warden. Hopefully the only one. Hello, dog. And we need an accountant. Ah, come on. There we go. I just realized I don't have... Oh, notebook. What is this? Uh... Okay. Neat. 
didn't really read it, but maybe one day I'll go back and read it. So now we have everything we need right here. Let's get this centered up. Uh, we'll just get rid of these walls. Can I? Oh, demolish walls. There we go. Those dudes will get to work on that. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just we're going to get a quick build and just throw an office right here and right there. Who cares? And we'll go ahead and get some utilities going. We're going to need... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put it up here. Let's plan this out, though. we got to do some planning first, because you can't just do, go in here blind. Bloop. So, generator is like, what? I want to do three by three. And then a layer outside. It's five by five. And then water pumps, three by three. And then we'll just kind of snake these fences around this. Right? You know what? Deal with that. Y'all are gonna have to just deal with that little little corner here. So we'll do an entrance right there. Good enough. Uh and let's put something like let's do gravel. I don't think that really affects anything, but in my thought in my head, you know, gravel is not gonna catch fire. So hopefully Hopefully that won't even happen. There we go. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and buy a couple extra capacitors. Alright, what else do we need? Uh, Warden. And you can go ahead and research finance. So I think I might, let's see, do a holding cell anyway, but I need extra room. So maybe this is going to be like, oh man, I don't know what this is going to be at all. I have to have uh, special cells. I have to have nurseries. So it looks like I got to have maybe like this here. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. That's enough. And a canteen. As well as a kitchen. So all the mamas are going to eat in the nursery with the babies. And then everyone else can just eat in the canteen. It would be hunky-dory. Let's go ahead and get them like a nice yard going on. Can't have people like prancing around in the mud. Did y'all get this done? Hurry up. So what else have we gotta do? Oh yeah, holding cell. Holding cell is just probably toilet bench let's just do that and as soon as I get the grant I'm just gonna get rid of it because we don't really need it I really don't want to hold more prisoners than I have cells for I think they get a little angry about that all right let's go ahead and get everything for the kitchen ordered uh, zoom in so we'll go ahead and get two sinks uh, some cookers. It'll tie it over like our prisoners for quite a while. And I think the closer the fridges are, the better. And for the canteen, hmm. We'll need a serving table. And a serving table in here as well. 
some benches. I've been trying to like figure out the best way to streamline things and there's been this like prison architect spreadsheet on the steam forums kind of tells you how to efficiently plan things I don't think I'm ever really gonna get that into it but maybe one day I'll be a robot who knows let's zoom in like what do we need serving table table bench crib and play mat so let's go ahead and get like a couple of cribs these are gonna cost us a bit up front Shall I get this done? Good. So let's run some power. We're going to... Uh, yeah, just do this. I'm not going to run it through that wall. And then we need some pipes. We're going to run it right beside the electrical wires uh up here there we go and what i usually like to do is because we have staff needs enabled we're gonna need a staff room and we're gonna need a serving table in that staff room so that way when our staff gets tired they can just relax have a snack and what else we need a drink machine too Otherwise, I think uh, if they get a little mad, they're not going to do their job. So let's go ahead and like posh it up in here. Get some uh, stuff that people would want. Uh, a radio, why not? And a, a TV. A chair. Sit in front of that TV. Let's see. A bench. Hmm. There's nowhere I can really put it. Right there. That way they just have places to sit. And we're going to need lights. Because I turned off the freaking auto lights. Sounds like... We have our accountant researched. So... One accountant... And what else? Let's go ahead and do... Man, I could get her to do the land expansion. How much do we got? We got 23,000. And we still have a couple more grants to take. So let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and do staff well-being. And then just hire five guards, and we would instantly get the ten thousand dollars. So let's do that. Uh, what? Oh. Y'all do this quick. I need I need this done so I can get this money. So, oh, this guy looks like he's boarded himself in. He's trapped forever. He's just going to die. And how are we doing? Yeah, you do that. You just... Oh, our holding cell's not done because it needs a door. <gasps> door. There we go. So once they get done, there we go. We got the extra 10,000 in the bank. Got some fruit. Fruit and apples and oranges for our staff to enjoy. And what else do we got? And two cooks. That's what we need. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fire, fire. Two of those, because we don't really need five right now. And I think we're on our way <clears throat> to almost being done. 
with our first first day here in the prison uh once we get this sh oh we need a shower once we get the shower and kitchen done i might just call it there of course we're gonna need a way into the shower so we're gonna leave it open because we can't really trust these prisoners behind uh closed doors they're just gonna start stabbing each other I don't even know how many prisoners I expect to have. Um, you could even like put showers here in the middle. And I might do that just maybe just there. Let's see, what does that mean? Does that mean we just got power? I don't know. Do this, why did you, why did y'all just forget about, I, I don't know. Sometimes it seems to happen like they forget a couple of things. There we go. And we're going to need, very important, uh, some sprinklers. If you don't have your sprinklers, you're just going to burn your prison down. What else did you forget? This. I forgot that. I think that's everything. Oh yeah, so we have staff needs turned on, and weather, we have to supply hot water to a couple of things. So we're going to put some hot water pipes here. What else do we need? Oh yeah, a radiator. We need to keep the prison warm. Otherwise, inmates are going to start complaining. That's a bit, a bit nippy in here. We can't have that. You're already on break, and you're already pissed off, and it's you've only been on the job. It probably hasn't even been four hours. What is wrong with you people? Anyway, so it looks like we are pretty on our way to a decent, a decent starting facility. Um, Maybe next time we'll find out where we're going to put some uh, baby cells. And we're also, yes, baby cells. And where we're going to keep these prisoners. So we need at least, uh, how many? For our first grant. 15. Let's go ahead and accept that. $20,000 up front. And we'll do that next time. Thank you all for watching. Don't get your hopes up. I might see you next time. Mwah. <laughs>